Hello, I'm Chris Menard. Microsoft Teams has rolled out a highly requested feature. It is pop-outs for chats. So let me show you multiple ways to do the pop-out and then let me show you how to actually use this when you're possibly in a meeting in Teams. So I've already gone to chats over here. I've got two chats running. Method one is just point right here and it says pop out chat and that will pop out the chat. And you can obviously drag it and drop it wherever you want to. You can resize it. So there's pop out chat. Another way to do it, I'm still with Christian's chat here. Up in the top right corner is pop out chat, same steps. But my favorite method is just to point at the person's image and just double click and that will pop out the chat. You can pop out multiple chats with no problem. So Christian's running and then I'm having a chat with a guest right there. So you could even pull those to a different monitor. But also here's another example of when this would be really handy is let's say I'm chatting with Christian. I've got to jump into a meeting just for a little bit. I'm not presenting. I'm just viewing it. So I'm going to go to Teams and I'm actually going to start a meeting in Teams. I selected Meet Now. Camera off because I'm recording. Meet Now. So I'm in a meeting in Microsoft Teams. I can now, this was always the issue, I can now come back to chat. I can pop out Christian's chat, move it wherever I want to. Again, I could move it to another monitor. I could again, just to test this, I'm gonna pop out the other chat. Meeting is still running. I'm gonna click right here. I'm back in the meeting, but I still have my chats running over to the side. Another reason I really like the pop out chat, to be honest with you, to me, it's a lot easier to know who you're chatting with. So uh, Christian's here and the guest person is here that I invited. So that's just a quick video on Microsoft Teams new feature, pop out chats. Feel free to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thank you for your time. Goodbye.